Now, James often posted profane, disturbing content on YouTube and social media. Recent rants included criticism of Mayor Adams and efforts to reduce homelessness and crime. CBS 2's Tony Aiello continues our coverage. And they keep mentioning the potential of World War III. Well, no, we're already in World War III. Brooklyn subway attack suspect Frank James had a lot to say about the state of the world, and he shared it almost daily on YouTube. Hundreds of rants filled with foul-mouthed disdain for black people, white people, Hispanics and Asians, celebrities and politicians, including Mayor Eric Adams and his policies on subway crime. He can do something about the homeless, he can do that, which is good. But those who are going to commit crimes, like the shooting, Shot in the chest out in Brooklyn. The old lady got hit in the head with a hammer. You can't, you can't stop that. That means you have to have a police, a police from every station, and that's, that's just not possible. It was a chilling foreshadowing of the subway attack three weeks later. We know that James was born in 1959 and raised in the Bronx. His last known address here dates to 2003, this building on Ritter Place. Not far away, one of his distant cousins told me most family members had little contact with James. Something must have happened, maybe. I don't know. You're having a tough time believing this. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's unbelievable. James's sister also lives in the Bronx. She declined to speak with CBS2, but told the New York Times James was a loner who moved often. Until a few weeks ago, he lived in this Milwaukee, Wisconsin multifamily building. Neighbors describe him as sullen and unfriendly. When I say hi, it's like a grunt. Um, I don't see him. I hear him sometimes yelling on the phone, arguing about things. On his YouTube channel, James talked about attending a job training program in Long Island City and experiencing mental health issues. He described New York as the source of all my troubles. The videos leave the impression of a profoundly disturbed person. Tonight, YouTube has disabled James's channel. In Longwood, the Bronx, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And in recent weeks, James had been staying in a Philadelphia rental. The FBI did search that location and also a nearby storage unit. They say they found evidence indicating James had access to a high-powered rifle, which has not been recovered. And stay with CBS2 and CBS News New York for continuing coverage on the subway mass shooting. On our website, you can watch the entire news conference from the NYPD and see more information on today's arrest.